Glory be to God. His presence is an open door. Glory be to God. I would like you to invite your friends now. Come on and be a part of this broadcast as we are dealing today with provoking good news and the supernatural turnaround in your life. What is season to provoke the good news in our life and to experience a supernatural turnaround in every circumstances of your life i want you to click on the share button invite someone to join us right now i mean wherever you're watching from just indicate to us let us know where you are watching this from what country what nation what city you are uh, so we can know where we where you are as well that would really make us very excited to know where you're watching from but i would like to be a blessing to you as we bring god's word to you every single day now invite somebody click on the share button do something let your friends join us as we go into the word of god in a moment because the presence of god is in this it, is in this place and and even through these airways i'm sure you're able to experience and feel the presence and the power of the holy spirit at work and as you listen with all of your heart to the word that's about to come forth you would experience a dimension of god's manifested presence in your life i really believe as you open your heart unto the lord that great things are going to happen to you and the thing that seemingly appears to be impossible becomes possible in your life in the name of jesus let us pray father i thank you I give you praise once again for your awesomeness and your faithfulness and the great things that you do. I thank you for another time of coming in your presence. Speak to us by your spirit and let your name be glorified in our lives. In the name of Jesus and everyone that believes, say amen and amen. Once again, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks so much for being a part of today's broadcast. We are so excited that you've joined us today. You know, this is a day the Lord has made and we are to rejoice and be glad in it. So we're going to deal with today provoking good news and supernatural turnaround. How to provoke God supernatural turnaround that brings about the manifestation of good news in your life you know the power of god the, the word of god the principle of the word of god the power of the holy spirit and the presence of god has a way of bringing about the manifestation of good news in our life when we apply this in our lives so I want to sh share a little bit today and just help you to to see how you can apply this in your life and experience good news only good news it doesn't matter the news we hear around us but really for you that have logged on to this broadcast today whether you are a christian or not it's only good news and if you're not born again yet you're going to receive jesus into your heart today and you're going to allow him to come into your heart and be your lord and your savior and if you're already a believer if you're already a christian just remember this it is only good news and how to provoke that good news to be to be manifesting in your life all the time is what we're going to talk about today let's read the scripture the book of psalms chapter 1 26 verse 1 it's verse 1 to verse 5 when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream that's right you know what god is going to do in your life it will seem to just like a dream it will appear to be a dream say so my i can't believe this is happening to me but how is it going to happen because you learn how to provoke good news and god's supernatural turnaround in your life look at verse 2 that there was our mouth filled with laughter you're about to laugh again and our tongue would sing you are about to sing again then said among the hidden the lord had done great things for them verse 3 the lord has done great things for us whereas whereof we are glad turn again our captivity O lord as the streams in the south they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves 
with him glory be to god do you see that what god wants to do in your life is turn around your captivity and turn around your captivity turn around your circumstances to something wonderful to something good that no matter how things may appear right now no matter the bad news you're hearing around you but for you it's only good news turning around turning around your circumstance and your situation is God's favorite joy. It pleases Him that there's a turnaround in your life. Look at what the scripture just tells us. He said, when God turned around, the captivity of Zion were like them that dream. And what's about to take place as you apply these principles in your life, as you apply the power of God and not on the Holy Ghost that's about to go through these airways and God's presence in your life, it will appear as if you are dreaming. I don't know if you've been in such so situations in your life where God blesses you beyond your widest imagination and you pinch yourself to ask, is this really me? Yes, it is you. When God gets involved in your life and in your circumstances, everything looks like a dream. You see, you just can't believe it because when God gets involved in your life and when you give your life to God and allow Him and apply His word and His principles in your life, turning around circumstances in your life becomes a reality. You know, and then you begin to have laughter again in your mind, laughter again, and your tongue begin to go about singing for the goodness and the glory of God. So no matter the things you are faced with today, you can provoke good news in your life. No matter the bad news that is being spread all over everywhere, you can provoke good news in your life. No matter the situations that you are dealing with today in your country or in your city or in your state or in your province, or in your district, wherever you are, no matter what is happening around you, there can be a supernatural turnaround in your life. A supernatural orchestrated by the power of the Holy Spirit. It can happen, even as I'm speaking right now, through these airways. God specializes in the business of turning things around in our life. The Bible tells us right here in verse, in, you know, in verse 3, the Lord has done great things for us. Yes, we are off. We are glad. You are about to rejoice again. You are about to laugh again. You are about to be filled with laughter. I know you might have lost some love. I know things that have happened very terribly during this season. Maybe you've, I know for sure some of you have lost your job and, and your businesses appear to be going under and things are looking just out of proportion. Maybe you have no food. Maybe you have no food and that's right. Maybe where you are, there is no food. You don't even know what to do. Everything is cursed. You can't even get out of your home. But listen, we can provoke good news you can provoke good news of good news over your life what about to learn today if you apply it in your life you provoke good news no matter the diagnosis the doctor gave you you can provoke good news in the name of jesus so we want to go right into that today and deal with that provoking the good news and the supernatural turnaround in your life let me read the scripture here the book of psalm Psalm chapter uh, 75, Psalm 75, no, no, verse 6, Psalm 75, verse 6, and verse 7. Glory be to God. He said, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge, the, the put it one down, and sit one up again so promotion comes from god promotion comes from god you know the lifting up comes from god the supernatural turnaround is god orchestrated work god loves to do that the bible tells us promotion increase elevation does not come from the east nor from the west nor from the south but coming from above the god of all creation brings about promotion in our lives. The Bible also tells us in Proverbs, chapter 3 of Proverbs, verse 5 and verse 6. Look at what it says here as we continue with the Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. He said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, 
and he shall direct thy path. So how how do you allow God? How do you make God direct your path? How do you make him bring about good news in your life? How do you make God lead you in the path of righteousness? How do you make God lead you in the path of supernatural turnaround? How do you make God, how do you even provoke him to do, to turn things around in your life? Look at the secret right here. There's something I want to just, I just saw, I want to show you. He said, trust in the Lord. If you want God to direct your path, if you want him to lead you in the right path of the good news, if you want God to lead you in the path of righteousness, you want God to lead you in the path of victory, you want God to lead you in the path of success, you want God to lead you in the path of abundance, you want God to lead you in the path of divine health, look at the secret right here. It's a trust, it's a trust in the Lord. You put your complete reliance in the Lord and trust with him in all thy heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Stop trying to, I know that tells us that you have understanding for sure. You have, you know some things. You, you have some ideas. You are pretty smart. God knows that. God knows you are smart. God knows you have understanding. You are learned. You have doctorate degree, maybe bachelor's, maybe high school, whatever it is. You've gone to school. You have understanding. That is given. We are not disputing all the wisdom you have but God said lean not unto your own understanding don't trust your understanding don't trust on the things that you know it's about in all your ways acknowledge acknowledge make known what God has done in your life acknowledge him talk about him give him all the credit give him all the praise don't 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 let yourself think because things are happening in your life because of your intelligence, because of your smartness. And that's why, that's where many of us, we miss it, we make terrible mistake because we believe things are happening in our life because of our intelligence. But God says in his word, if you want God to direct your path, you know, when God puts his hand on your life and when God begins to direct your path, you know it will be the path of good news. Remember the Bible, the Bible tells us in chapter 29, Jeremiah 11, because therefore I know the thoughts I have towards you, the plans of good to prosper you, to prosper you. God wants to prosper you. He wants to give you a life of hope and a future that is so bright, a future that is so full of good news, no bad news, only good news. But how do we do that? Yeah, it tells us, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So you acknowledge God in everything. You acknowledge God in all your ways and the Bible tells us that he will direct your path. So what about to share now? It's not about your own understanding. It's not about your intelligent quotient. It's not about the things that you know. It's about putting your trust in the Lord and applying God's word in your life and you will see the tremendous turnaround that you would experience in your life. Now, number one, what must you do to provoke good news in your life and bring about supernatural turnaround in your life? Number one, of course, you trust in the Lord with all of your heart by one, declaring good news over your life. That's right. You declare good news over your life. It doesn't matter what's happening around you. I understand what's going on, especially if you are listening to this broadcast in 2020, maybe even, even later than that. I know what's happening around you. But the truth is this. You have to declare good news over your life. It, this is your time to be favored by God. This is your time to experience good news. But you can only assess the favor of God and experience good news. If you believe it, you will see it and you receive it. You declare it so you can have it. What you don't say, you cannot get. Yes, what you don't say, you cannot get. That's right. So you have to declare good news over your life. You have to declare this is my third time to have good news. It doesn't matter the bad news of yesterday. It doesn't matter the bad news you received maybe last night. Tonight, today is your season to be favored by God. Anything you are too careful to proclaim, 
don't expect to have it. I want you to just note this statement. Anything you are too careful to proclaim, don't expect to have it. If you must have it, you must proclaim it. Until you proclaim it, you cannot have it. But listen, before you proclaim it, you have to believe it. That's what the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, we are having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. So, you believe and then you proclaim it. You declare good news over your life. You declare prosperity over your life. You declare peace and joy over your life. Or say, but pastor, you don't understand. There's bad news around me. I just lost some loved ones. We just lost our job. Our business just collapsed. Our house was just flooded. You know, we pray for those that are in Kenya right now. They have a lot of flood in the western section of Kenya. You know, we just pray that God will protect them. God would provide for them and God would meet them even right now at the point of their need. You may say, but but my but my land is flooded with water. I don't know what to do. Everything is looking upside down. I understand that. But if you're going to experience and provoke good news and supernatural turnaround in your life, you have one, you have to believe and you have to declare good news over your life. And that's why the Paul said in Corinthians 2 Corinthians 4 verse 30, we believe and therefore we speak. You know, life gives you what you truly believe. Life gives you what you truly believe in your heart. Even as you believe in your heart, you must speak it out or declare it with your mouth to see the manifestation. Life gives you what you believe in your heart. Life gives you what you really believe in your heart. And then you declare it with your mouth to see the manifestation in your life. So that means if you don't speak it, it will not happen. If God never said, let there be light, there would have not been no light. So even God himself, after apply that same principle, God have to declare, let there be light for light to be. So, if you are going to experience good news and supernatural turnaround, you have to speak it from your mouth. There cannot be a creative force until your mouth says something. You know, God is a powerful creator. We know that from the scripture. He made heavens and the earth. But God has to say something. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let the, the sea bring forth its creation, and so it happened. So God has to say something. So there cannot be no creative force until your mouth says something. So if you believe that is your time to be favored, it's time for God to favor you, it's time to experience good news, then you have to open your mouth and say it, say it so. You have to declare it out, because every time you keep your mouth closed, you have closed your creative miracle. Yeah, that's, that's a good one for you to write down. Every time you keep your mouth closed, you close your creative miracle. That's it. So you have to declare it. You have to declare good news over your life. You don't declare what you see. If what you see does not line up with what God's purpose and plan for your life is, so you have to declare good news over your life. When others say there's bad news all around, you will proclaim and shout favor and good news. That's what the Bible tells us in Job 22, verse 29. When men are cast down, then you shall say there is a lifting up. Then you shall save the humble person. When men are cast down, when there is recession, when people are depressed, when there's no job, where people are feeling no feeling hopeless, then you shall say there is a lifting up. Because it is your speaking that brings about the manifestation of the good news and the supernatural turnaround. We just read in the book of Psalms. We just see what God did for them. But they have to say something. 
you have to say something. God wants to favor you. The Bible tells us in, in Psalm chapter 5, verse 12, for, for thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor without compass him as a shield. Now, that is the word of God. God wants to favor you and he wants to surround you. He wants to surround you with favor as a shield. Now, please click on the share button, invite someone to join us right now as we continue with this powerful broadcast, provoking good news and supernatural turn around. So, God wants to favor you. That means that you are going to be clothed with favor in the morning, favor in the afternoon, and favor at night in the name of Jesus. When God favors a man, labor stops. Labor continues where favor is absent. Labor continues where favor is absent. Labor cannot be equated to success. Of course, we know the Israelites, they labored for 430 years. So hard work does not necessarily equal to success. So God wants to favor you. Good news. So you have to declare good news over your life. You have to proclaim it so you can experience it. Don't say what you see if what you see is not what you desire. You got to speak God's word and declare good news over your life so you can experience good news. Number two, to provoke good news and supernatural turnaround in your life, you have to have constant expectation. The Bible tells us in the, uh, chapter 23 of Proverbs, verse 18, in the Amplified Classic, for surely there is a letter and a future and a reward, and your hope and your expectation shall not be cut off. So expectation is a breeding ground for miracle. That's right. Expectation is a breeding ground for miracle. And that brings me to what's going to be happening tomorrow now. So tomorrow night, you know, we're going to be broadcasting this live on this network. And for those who are living far away and those who are in the area, tomorrow night we have miracle service, Holy Ghost outpouring, where the power of God is moving in such a mighty way. Healings are taking place powerfully. God is moving. But you must come with great expectation. You must come in with great expectation of the of, of receiving your miracle. So constant expectation brings about divine manifestation. If you expect God to move, you will see him move in your life. If you expect good news, you will experience good news. If you expect bad news, you will experience bad news. The Bible tells us here what as we just see, it said, for your expectation shall not be cut off. Now tomorrow night is a special service. You don't want to miss it. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And those who are in the area want to come, doors open at 6 o'clock. But let me just show you a little clip of a woman who was diagnosed with spinal stenosis and how she was miraculously healed in one of those services. Just watch this and I'll be back in a moment. Watch. <laughs>
Glory be to God. Isn't that amazing? She came with great expectation and she received a miracle. Now, you're going to see some of this a lot tomorrow. So, tomorrow, you don't want to miss this special service coming up tomorrow. Now, if you are in the area, come out and experience the power of God. No matter what sickness you may have in your body, God is in the business of healing. And he has given us, his children, the ability to heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead. That's right. God has given us the ability to do that. So you just come in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. and experience God's move upon your life. No matter what circumstance it might be, maybe financial situation, whatever it might be, God has an answer for you. Only good news. So with constant expectation, like this woman did, she came with expectation to be healed and she received healing. Imagine, spinal stenosis could not walk. You saw it. Couldn't walk. And it looks very amazing to you know you just some people say man that's not real but this is real stuff god is in the business of healing amen so constant expectation brings about provokes good news in our lives it does that the bible further tells us in again in proverbs 24 verse 14 so shall you know skillful and godly wisdom to be thrust to your life if you find it then shall there be a future and a reward, and your hope and expectation shall not be cut off. So to experience good news and to provoke good news and a supernatural run, you have to be a constant expectation. You have to expect it to receive it. You know, what you don't expect, you don't experience. Write that down. What you don't expect, you don't experience. What you expect is what you experience, you know, what you expect. So if you expect good news and you expect supernatural turnaround, you are going to experience it. Because the Bible says your expectation shall not be cut off. Now, please invite somebody. Click on the share button. Let them come and join us in this broadcast. Click on the share button. Share it right now. Start a watch party. Let your friends come and be a part of this broadcast. It's going to be a blessing to them as they do. So the, so let's see here, Philippians, Philippians 1 verse 20. So according to my earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but all, with all boldness as always, so now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death, according to your earnest expectation. So when you expect good news, when you expect supernatural turnaround, it comes, it brings about manifestation. You got to expect it to see it. What you don't expect, you don't experience. So when you expect good news, you experience good news. I remember many, many years ago, as a teenage boy, you know, I was having great expectation for the power of God in my life. I expected, I visualized, I, you know, I I just expected God to use me and to see this healing power flowing through my life. And you know, with the expectation and a serious longing in my heart and in my spirit, you know, that expectation became a manifestation. Whatever you expect is what you experience if you believe it in with all of your heart. So the number two thing that will bring with, that will provoke good news in your life and bring about a supernatural turnaround is prayer. Is prayer. That's right. You have to pray. Think of what happened in the book of Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to verse 9. He said Peter was kept in prison. Remember, they have murdered one of the disciples already. They killed Stephen. He was stoned to death. Of course, the church learned a great lesson and they come to realize that prayer brings about supernatural turnaround. So the Bible, in Acts chapter 12, verse 5 to 9, the, 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 the church began to pray. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made for him without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Verse 9, And when Herod would have brought him for the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound, with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Verse 7. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and the smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chain fell off from his hands. Verse 8. And the angel said to him, Get, guard yourself, bind your sanders. And so he did. And he said, Cast your garment upon thee, follow me. And he went out and followed him, 
and with not that it was true, which was done by the angel, for he thought he saw a vision. You see? <laughs> so when God visits you, and when God turns things around, it will look like a dream. It will look like you are in a dream, but God is in the business of turning things around when you pray. So the church learned the hard way, and they started praying when Peter was locked up. And because of their prayer, we saw a supernatural turnaround. Whatever it is in your life today, you can have, you can receive that good news and a supernatural turnaround if you go back to the place of prayer. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, shall humble themselves and pray, then, and don't find a wicked ways, then I will heal their land. I will have heaven and heal the land. He said, call upon me and I will answer you, he said, and I will show you, 33 Jeremiah verse 3, and I will show you great and mighty things, which thou know it not. It's just about calling unto God. He said, call unto me, and I will answer you. When you call, he will answer. He wants you to call, so he can answer. Not only will he answer you, he will even show you greater things that you've never seen before. He said he will do abundantly, exceedingly, abundantly, above, more than you even ask or think. But you have to call upon him. He said, call on me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God is in the business of bringing about supernatural run, supernatural turnaround and good news in your life. But you have to call upon him. You have to call on him and he will answer you and he will show you great things. He will open your eyes to even see greater things more than what you ever asked for. Not only will you bring, not only, not only will you experience good news, or supernatural turnaround, it will happen so fast and so real and so, so, so amazing that you would think you are just in a dream. But God really wants to see you experience good news, especially in this season. Now, not only do you have to pray for that, you also have to pray for others, and that is an important part of it. You have to pray for other people. You have to pray for others to have good news in their life. You have to pray for others to also experience supernatural turnaround. Because what you make happen for others, God will make it happen for you. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. That's right. So when you pray for others, for them to have good news in their life, God will make it happen for you. And Ephesians chapter 6 verse 8 tells us, knowing that whatsoever good thing a man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether be burnt or free. That's what I'm talking about. So whatever good thing you do for others, you will receive the same of the Lord. You are a carrier and a bearer of good news. Psalm 52 verse 7, the New Living Translation. You are a carrier or a bearer of good news. So what to make happen for others, God would make happen for you. Let's look at the book of Isaiah chapter 52 and I would like us to read verse 7. 52 verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good news, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. What wonderful. The feet of those that bring good news. Yes, you are a carrier and a bearer of good news. What you make happen for others, God will make it happen for you. And, and Job 42 verse 10 tells us, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he had prayed for his friend. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Double for your trouble. You want to have wonderful good news? You want to see a turnaround in your life? Then start praying for others to experience what you are asking God to give to you. And once you start praying for others, when you start praying for your friends and for other people, the Bible says that God will do for you, make happen for you what you are praying to see happen in the life of other people. Glory be to God. And the other thing I want to talk about how to, how to provoke good news 
and supernatural turnaround is to ex is to really get involved and to engage the mystery of high praise in the midst of unpleasant situation. When things are looking out of control, when things do not look right, when everything around you is trouble or bad, it is time to give God a high praise. It is time to praise God. It's not a time to complain like others, but it's time to lift up your praise and, and, and have give God an exuberant high praise. It's time to begin to praise the Lord and begin to praise Him even when things are looking bad. That's what happened to, the, to Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16, verse 25. He said, And at midnight, Paul and Silas they prayed and they sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard Him, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prisons were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bond were loose. Isn't that amazing? High praise unto God, engaging the mystery of praising God, even in the midst of unpleasant situation, provoke good news and bring about a supernatural run in your life. So it's time now to begin to praise God. It's time to begin to praise Him. High praise. Praise Him. Let other people hear you. Don't be afraid to praise Him out loud. Open your mouth and sing praises unto the Lord. Now, God wants you to put Him first as well. When you put God first in your life, then things begin to turn around in your life. He tells us in 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 the in, in, in book of uh, Matthew 6.33, He says, Seek ye first God's kingdom, and good news will come to you in all direction. When you put God first, when you seek God, you begin to experience good news. When you seek Him, when you seek God, when you pursue after God, God will see to it that you experience good news in your life. This is your season of supernatural turnaround in the name of Jesus. This is your season of good news. You don't have to buy good news, but when you apply this principle, it provokes the constant and consistent occurrence of good news in your life. Apply what we've talked about today and you will see good news being provoked in your life. Now, the ultimate good news is the good news of salvation. If you are watching this today and you have not yet made Jesus the Lord of your life, you have to do that. We are in the end times. I want you to just accept the Lord into your heart. And if you want to accept Jesus into your heart, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Because without Jesus, there is no good news. Without Jesus, it's always bad news, and the bad news lingers on the rest of your life. But with Jesus, you have good news. And it, it, it is the ultimate good news when you get born again. Now, if you want to do that, repeat this after me. Say, Dear Jesus, I acknowledge you as the Lord of my life. Thank you for dying for my sins. I invite you into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. I believe that you died and rose from the grave. I believe that you are alive. Come into my heart, be my Lord. From today forward, I will serve you for the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. If you just pray this simple prayer, it means that you are born again. You can, you can send us a private message and just we will help you further in, in, in help you further in understanding what just happened to you. And just like this particular state and channel so you can continue to be fed by the word of God wherever you are. And if you have any prayer requests, just send it to us. I'll be willing to pray for you as well. Even through um through you know email, whatever look where you can do that, you can do that to us. Let us pray. Father, I just thank you for this broadcast full of people that have been blessed today. As we blessed in over the life, I decree that what has been received today will abide in your heart. You experience good news all the days of their life as they follow these principles of your word in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So tomorrow is a powerful day. Miracle service. You don't want to miss it. If you're in the area, come out, invite your friends to come. Listen, I need your help. Three ways you can help us. Number one, you can keep sharing this video. If you've not shared it already, just click on the share button right now and share it. Number two, you can pray for us. I convert your prayers daily. Pray for me. Pray for the ministry. Pray for the ministry and pray for Number three, you can give through a link on your screen. You can support us by giving through the PayPal link and your giving will be used for the advancement of God's kingdom. And as you do this, I know that the God of heaven, the God who has blessed this ministry, 
would also bless you. The same grace that is upon my life and upon this ministry will also extend to you wherever you are. As you, as you share this video, as you pray for us, and as you give, you will also, ex, you also ex, expect to receive the reward of the action you have taken. Remember this, what you make happen for others, God will make it happen for you. Until we see you again tomorrow morning, remember this, you have been destined to win and there is nothing the devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith and not by sight. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.